How's it going guys? I hope you're doing great and welcome back to some more foot carnival content where today it's just gone 6pm for me right now and let's have a look exactly what EA Sports are going to release today. So we have the Nation Leaf which you get ourselves a mega pack for so we'll do that today. It's an Alejandro Gomez which is 90 raid which we're definitely going to go check out and see how good this card is. So wow okay that is insanely expensive oh my lord that's gonna be near enough a 300,000 coin card i'm just gonna go ahead and say just completely ignore that because that is absolutely ridiculous oh my days an 86 and an 85 and an 85 rated squad that is way too expensive for a player like alejandro gomez that's ridiculous so for a 90 rated card 95 pace 94 dribbling i mean to be fair he does a good four star four star as well 98 agility, 99 balance, 99 acceleration, 82 stamina as well, so it will last the whole game. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to do it for you guys for the video today, but would I actually recommend doing this on your own? Hell no. This is ridiculously expensive. So, obviously, we'll jump into the first one here, which is an 86-rated squad with one Argentinian player. This is going to be insanely expensive today, lads. So, personally, would I recommend doing it? Probably not, to be fair, because it's... I can't believe they put three squads, but an 86 and an 85 would have done absolutely fine for this. So, first of all, let's have a look at what Argentinian players we've got in the club at the moment. An 83 definitely is not going to cut it for this video, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to go into untradeable and see what we got. So, again, not too, nothing too much at all. So, we've got our Argentinian player in Nicolas Otamendi. Now, we're going to try and find out exactly what ratings we're going to need around him as well. Okay, so what I'm also going to do, because we're going to need an 89 and an 88 rated player for this one as well. I mean, if you like Gomez, then go for it. But this guy's probably going to be a super sub for me nonetheless. But damn, they, I just can't believe how expensive EA have done this SBC. Okay, so we are going to need a few 85s as well. Um, so let's go uh, over to the city. Yeah? We have, I suppose we could use him. We'll go have a look in the untradeable section too, just in case what we've got over there and we don't have anything which is absolutely fantastic isn't it really so we'll jump over here too and we'll use Saul Carvajal I can't, I just, I was still absolutely gobsmacked at the fact that it's an 86 rated squad like it's absolutely ridiculous but it is what it is uh one tradable we've got Koke we've got a Neto as well but he's only 84 rated so again this is going to be a little bit more of a difficult SBC I'm going to put Benzema and Felipe Luis just on the reserves just so I can see exactly what we're working with but Kareem Benzema can go in there we're going to put Carvajal we're going to put Saul just going to put someone to link into Handanovic as well because they're already going to be on chemistry and then stick Koke in there as well and pro try with 84s possibly with this one now just to see exactly what rating that we're at, see what we can get away with, and see what we can't get away with as well. Probably should use Bernardo Silva. Damn, I tell you, there's not a lot of... Uh, there really isn't a, a lot of room to mess about with here, really. That's so what we'll do. We'll go back to the La Liga Santander um, and try and link everyone up that way. Because I'm guessing, again, that you're going to need a fair amount of chemistry, which in this case is 70, so it's not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. But... Um, does an 84 work? Yes, it does. Okay, so that's fine. We're pretty much there chemistry-wise as well. But let's see what we can get away with in terms of lowering the rating a little bit. So can I get rid of an 85 for an 84? Yes, I can. So I'm going to do that, but probably with... So I'm just going to get a bunch of 84s and just put them on the team real quick just to see how many 84s we can actually get away with. Which one of them is Carver How Can we get Jimenez for Saul? No, we can't. Okay, so that's sort of the minimum where we need to be, realistically, isn't it? So that there is an incredibly expensive SBC to only get a prime goal player pack as well. So we're using an 89 and 88. Uh, well, how many 85s? Four 85s and then the rest 84. Incredibly expensive SBC. So if you guys are probably doing it as well, this is probably one of the cheaper ways of doing it itself. But wow, I can't believe how why EA have put this SBC so incredibly expensive. It just does not make sense to me. But... We now move on to the... No, Jesus, so this one's a Syria. Again, crazy numbers that EA are asking for for this one because it's another 85-rated squad. They're asking for two informs as well. And obviously, the one Serie A player isn't really an issue. But again, another expensive SBC. So, I did have another Handanovic just chilling in the transfer list. So, we'll put him in. He's the Serie A player that we're after. Um, but let's just have a look quickly what special cards we've got because I don't know whether I've got any from the Serie A that's going to link... However, 
Uh, what do we have? None of them are from the City A, which is a little bit frustrating, but we might go through to the Bundesliga maybe, because that means then I can link up two informs, Arangui, and we also have Jaden Sancho as well. So there's the two informs that are needed, but then we still need a bunch of high-rated cars to get that 85 rating in there as well. Okay, so I've just had a look quickly in the Bundesliga exactly what we've got available to us at the moment, and it looks like Sula, Kimmich... As an 86, we do have David Alaba, and then I'm going to stick Sommer in there as well. So, we've now got ourselves an 86 and an 85 in there as well. So, I think I should be able to just use 84s for the rest of this squad, hopefully. But the good thing about this, uh, all the SBCs that we've been doing recently, where we're getting the 81 plus packs as well, I can now start to use all the untradeable cards that we had as well. Because, obviously, you only need a bit of 70 chemistry, which is decent. But, at least, this way, I can have a look rating okay so yeah so all the 84s will work rating wise but i just need something with chemistry which is uh, it's not too bad at the end of the day but i still need the chem so we're not that good at all really but the question is can i get away with an 83 goretzka no i can't it is actually an 84 rated squad that i need jeez i just can't believe how expensive this spc is overall i mean i've only had to spend like what thirty thousand coins on this so far but because i've had a lot of stuff in my club already but so actually, it's insane how expensive this is for a card that's not going to be that desirable. Which is not too much of an issue, because I could just buy him real quick and then just go from there, really. Because I only need, like, what, five or six chemistry or something silly like that. So, we'll just go ahead and buy Javi Martinez. That's probably way too expensive for his card at the minute, but I'm just lazy buying for the sake of trying to complete this SBC in a timely fashion for you lot, anyway. Okay, so that gives us an extra three chem, which isn't too bad. So we're two chemistry away. But we'll just change our anguish to a centre mid, and then that should give us the chemistry as well. So, again, another fairly expensive SBC there. We've had to use the 88 Handanovic in this one. We've used our untradeable 86 Kimmich that we got in the 81 plus packs the other day. So, again, another fairly expensive SBC to only get a mega pack from it as well, which is a little bit of a shame. But, hey, ho, and there's still one more of these SBCs to do as well. Jeez. EA, you're absolutely killing us. And another two informs as well. So, what we're going to do first of all, I'm just going to jump straight over to the untradeable section just to see exactly what uh, I've got that I can use in this one that I really just do not care about in the slightest. And I know one player, which is Qualiarella, who we can quickly use in this SBC is the 88 rated card. As an 86, I'm going to use Sigurdsson because, again, I really just do not care about having that card because I'm never going to use him in my starting 11 so it's really not the end of the world and then we'll just double check as well exactly what gold cards I've got untradeable to because obviously if you're using untradeable cards it's not going to mean that much to you unless obviously they're in your starting 11 but I do not think actually Mesut Ozil mate yes 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 and yes you shall be getting used so again we're going to have to have a look what informs we've got because again EA are loving to make this uh, SBC as expensive as they possibly can for us aren't they so we'll double check what informs we've got available to us again and see what we can use we have a Mkhitaryan which I don't particularly want to use in this one here but we've got a Zaha and we'll just use a Amina as well, just because he's a bit higher rated. So, stick those in there first of all, and we'll go ahead and put Lacazette in there. We will put Mesa Ozil in there as well. Fair, I don't think I'm going to need Gilfie Sigurdsson in this one, which is uh, ideal because I didn't particularly want to use him in the first place, but we could definitely use Socrates to link people up. We could put David Luiz to link up with Neto as well. But what other cards have we got from the Premier League that I can just get this SBC done and dusted and never have to see it ever again? Michael in there, that's an 83. And does this give us an 85? No, it doesn't. It gives us an 84. So I'm guessing that I'm going to need another 84 rated player more than anything else. Are. And let's have a look for an 84 rated player just to replace Andy Robertson as well. Because I think that's the difference that we need. I will put one of those just in there as well, but... And to be fair, the, this SB, these SBCs are just running my account dry as well. Oh, okay, so it's not that that's needed. It's going to be an 85 that's needed as well. Okay, so we've done all three of the SBCs, which uh, it's an incredible amount of coins to actually use it as well. So we've had to use the 88 Quagliarella, who I'm never obviously going to use. We've had to use an 86 Urzil. And then an 85 rated Lacazette and a Felipe Luis as well. So we'll go ahead and submit that there. So that means that we have finally completed the Gomez SBC, which has taken an absolute lifetime to do. But Alejandro Gomez, or Papu Gomez, as other people call him. That's actually a pretty sick dynamic image. I like that. But this card looks solid enough. It's time will tell whether he's actually good enough to play in the weekend league and all that sort of stuff. But he will for sure 
be on my bench at the start of this next week, up and coming weekend league anyway, to see how good this card is. But realistically, when you've got the stats like 95 pace, 94 dribbling, 90 passing, like he can't be that bad, surely. But Papi Gomez is in. So we'll go ahead and skip the old animation now because we've seen it a couple of times and how much money it's actually taken out my club. Well, high rated players anyway, but or all the high rated players it's taken out of my club anyway. But we'll go ahead and store Gomez in the club. We'll put him in our team for the upcoming weekend league. But we do have one at last SBC to complete, which is the National Alif. I, I don't even know what the hell that even said, but we've got this SBC and then we'll go up and go ahead and open all the packs as well. So National Elf. I think that says. I don't really know, but... So we're looking at players in the same league, minimum four, and German players, right? Okay, that's not a problem. We'll just go ahead to the Bundesliga and see what we can just throw in this SPT, shall we? So it's only asking for four rare players, which is not too bad. Uh, is he asking for a rating as well? I just want to double-check that, to be fair. But Micheli, uh no, it's actually not asking for the same rating as well. Okay, so that's not a problem at all. So we just use four rare players. You don't need to use any more than you have to on this one, thankfully. After the SBC, they've just pulled out on us. Oh, my Lord. They honestly want to kill us all. I jump to right mid. And that should be... And that should be that for the rare players anyway. So that's fine. We'll just go ahead and use non-rares that are just very basic rating from now on. So, And then that should be this SBC completed too. I'm not exactly sure what pack we're going to get from it, but hopefully it's good anyway. I still have to show you the absolute banger that we packed yesterday, which there was a reason for not, not, not uploading that yesterday, but you'll see why. So, National Elf also completed as well, so another mega pack, and hopefully we can pack something good from these packs here. But, we've got four of these packs in the store right now, but I just want to show you what I packed yesterday, and what today's title is going to be revolving around. So, I wasn't recording yesterday because I had a load of PC issues, and that's why there was no video. And let's have a look at the recent captures so I can show you what we managed to pack yesterday. Which probably is this. Yes, it was this one. So the 50k pack from yesterday, this is what we managed to pack. So I got a walkout from a 50k pack, which of course I'm already surprised at. But this was the 500k player from yesterday. It's Dutch in form, centre back. We managed to pack ourselves that Liverpool in form, 91 rated Virgil van Dijk. Now, honestly, the. Uh, Absolutely crazy pack pull. I'll show you what he sold for in the end in just a second. But oh my god. I was just gobsmacked. I was like, who's going to be a Dutch inform from this week as a walkout? And of course, the only one that was there was Virgil van Dijk. And he's a half a million coin player, which is absolutely insane to be fair. I'll quickly go to my transfer list right now and show you that we obviously got him. And he sold for 470,000 coins in the end just because I was trying to undercut the lowest one, which was about 500k. So half a million coin player in there right now. Of course, he was first owner at the time, but when you play a sell on, on the game, I don't know why it comes up untradeable once he's gone. But we got that Van Dyke. Hopefully, we could pack something of similar in this in these fresh new packs that I could do all live for you guys as well. So, we have a Prime Gold player pack, two Mega Packs, and a Rare Electrum player pack. We're going to start with a Rare Electrum player pack for you guys today as well. So, do we get a walkout to start off proceedings? No, we don't. But as long as we get a board, that'd be quite good. And we don't. So, yeah, what an absolute waste have a pack of that rare election player pack. So I need some players going back inside the club that I haven't already that that we've just used in the SBC that are insanely high rated. So hopefully one of these last three packs have got something good in store for us because I really do need something good today. <sighs> we don't get a walkout. We get a board, which is always a good sign. An 85 rated card that we've used would be quite nice to use. But we get a French goalkeeper and it's Steve Mandanda. Of course it is. I packed him like three or four times already in videos this week. <laughs> he just won't leave me alone. Honestly, he just won't leave me alone. So, first 35k back had a board for us, but it was only an 83 rated card. So, can the Mega Pack number 2 have something in store for us? It's not a walkout, unfortunately. But at least it's a board. Um, uh, you know what? As long as I get boards in these packs, I'm more than happy. As we get Italian goalkeeper, and it's an 83 rated card again. So, Viviano, another person who just seems to be in my packs all the damn time. But at least I haven't got him at the minute. I've actually used him in SBCs, but... And we get another 83 rated card as well, so not too bad. But let's hopefully end on a bang. Of course, we had that in for Virgil van Dijk today, but hopefully we can finish on another walkout, possibly in this prime goal player pack, and hopefully get something good. Don't get a walkout. Can we at least get a board? Yes, we can. So we finished the pack opening today on a board at least as well, but... As we get Greek sender back, it's Socrates. So at least we get one player back that we've used in the SBCs today. So Socrates, welcome back into the club, my friend. You're welcome back with open arms because you're linked up. You link people up very well. So we get a nice 84 rate Socrates. And other than that, an absolute load of trash. 
So if you guys have enjoyed the episode today, make sure to leave a like rating for me. That'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and ding dong that notification bell so you know when all the videos go live on the channel. Let me know down in the comment section whether you're actually going to do this SBC or not because it is hella expensive at the moment. It's looking like it's going to be like 350 to maybe even half a million coins to complete this SBC. I've luckily had enough players in my club to do it quite cheap. So I could try him out and let you know whether this play is actually worth it or not. But yeah, let me know if you're going to get him. And until tomorrow's video, I'll catch you guys later.